Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 11. I think it's about time we went and hung out with some friends. To the shopping district. I hung out with Minecraft Melly over in the shopping district, discussing ideas for their shop, what we're going to have for dinner, and just in general what we have been up to. Uh. Mm, crunchy uh. dress. Green peppers, mushrooms, onions, Philly steak, American cheese, shredded provolone cheese. Order what Who bought you this? Want. I did. <gasps> Yay! I, I have no idea what I'm doing with it yet. <laughs> but that's the same as me. I've got all this over here. Because then this, like, this is the walkway. So then I could do like bunting and lanterns and stuff connecting like the shops together. So it would look like... What, really is, cute. what is bunting? Um, what is bunting? Bunting is like the triangle, like flag, on the string. Like you have like different color. <gasps> Got yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Garland. Okay. Like garland. <laughs> garland. Bunting. I'm American, which means I don't know things. <laughs> what do you call it in America? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a name for it. Banners. <laughs> it's called bun no. It's bunting. Well, what? now I know, and now I'm going to figure out a way of working it into a conversation this week. We need some bunting yes. on that marquee tent over there. <laughs> yes, yes, that's exactly what we needed. <laughs> <laughs> and they're going to be like, what? And I'm like, how do you not know? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, neither did I, so. I saw some donuts. Thank you, Mouse. Welcome. I hope they taste good. They're delicious. I always love being able to hang out with Minecraft Melly, but we've got work to do today. Okay. Shro's ES is apparently open and stocked. I see barrels. That is a good sign. Droppers and rafters and hoppers. Okay. Pistons, sticky pistons, skulk coming soon. So they have the skulk calibrators and all that. And they said they haven't got them yet. I don't need the wiggly boys. This is the stuff I need. There is an ATM. I don't have an ATM in my shop. Okay. I'm not going to spend all of these. I need these things. I need the face blocks. And how much are they selling the crafters for? Okay, so everything should be one per stack. I'm gonna get some of these. I'm gonna get some dispensers. And droppers. <laughs> this is a decoration shop for me. Uh, hoppers. I need some of these for um, putting as drains on the side of building. I do need to buy some more mangroves. Oh, I need TNT. I hope I don't get phantom spawning. Oh, <gasps> oh this is so cute. <gasps> this is where all my moss went. This is Melly. This is Minecraft. Mo oh, look at the pond. That's cute. Oh, so my shops. Back on to a farmer's market. Oh, that's adorable. I wonder, I don't think the donut shop's made any. Pretty sure I've filled up. Good, good, good. I'm pretty sure I've made no extra sales since we last checked on my live stream. No. I, I know mud's not going to, because people can make mud. If you've got dirt, you can make mud. You've got dirt on a cauldron, you can make mud. It's the packed mud with the wheat is just really expensive. Oh, I was supposed to do my trims. Oh, I was going to... This is what I want. I decided on this trim. This trim right here. Pretty sure it's that trim. If it's not, then I'm a silly goose. So it's... Two diamond blocks per duplication. Two diamond blocks. 
a duplication. I've got to put these into book form. A crafting table? There is a crafting table. Okay, so at the moment I can only afford two. Plus the diamonds to dupe it. Okay. Um... Fantastic. That's all of them. How many blocks does that make? That makes ten. And I need boots, legs, wings, hats. So I need four. So that is... Ouch. Okay. So, and then I need the diamonds to dupe it. So I'm pretty sure the two diamond blocks goes to oak. And then I have to use my diamonds to copy it. So... I need four of those. Perfect. There we go. So that goes back up there. And it is... diamond two diamond blocks per duplication and we have four two 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 okay i i'm always scared i'm going to shortchange someone boom <laughs> so excited <gasps> crafting a new look what do we think oh my gosh I love it. I love it. I love it. And shaders is so magical too. And when this becomes Neverite, I think the amethyst on it should be really nice and subtle. I do need to get another trim for my diamond hat, but that isn't enchanted yet. And I'm too much of a scaredy cat to go into the Never without gold. Here we are in Rogue Space. We were challenged with a task to complete the vault library for them. I started this on live streams, but I think it's about time we finish it. Let's go! Are we ready? Are we ready to take a look inside Rogue's library? I think it's pretty much done. Three, two, one. It's not fully completed. I'm not entirely sure. I know they wanted some little study areas, but for the most part, we've got all the books in. All the lighting in. I even replaced the ceiling. That took a long time. But uh, I have a little spiral staircase that takes you down to the lower level. Where I, I included the same balcony edging as up as uh, the upper tier. And I do believe down here is where the villagers are going to be. So I've left that blank because I was not given any ideas of what this was going to turn into other than this is where villagers are going to go. I'm assuming Rogue would just take some inspiration from maybe up here to tie it in down there. What do we think of the vaults library? I actually, with shaders on, this is the coziest vintage library. I do wish we were able to get some alternative bookshelves in Minecraft or maybe some dyes to change the colour of the books. Are they kind of red, green and blue? It gives off a different vibe. Like if we could go maybe a little bit deeper with the red, you know, it would really give off that kind of dark academia, kind of gothic mansion, really vintage library vibe. But I'm happy with this. I am so, so happy with this. I call that a successful mission.
let's go back home. guys here we have it this is going to be the food storage room our 7-eleven i've currently kept it open so i can um shortcut through into the storage room i might make like a staff doorway and actually keep this little passageway it's actually been really handy to get around the base the interiors are pending but i love the building but if we come on over here we come up this uh Fire escape. The door will be added soon. Look. Oh my gosh, I love this. I love this room so much. And I've made a little uh, concrete maker, terracotta maker, glass making area, banner making area up here. I might move some of this, but for now it made sense as these middle barrels have wool in. So we got the powder, the wool, the concrete, the terracotta, the glass. So everything diable and colorable is all up in this room so having this little area here um is a little necessity for for, uh, for creating and designing and i'm excited for it it's, it's quite easy to get to everything i need is here i just got to keep everything stocked up a bit more have three apartments that are owned by three members of the community already there will go higher up but I unfortunately need some dark prismarine to complete this apartment block. I need to work on some banners for this building still, but we have the start of the bar. Kind of like a nightclub vibe, like, you know, single story, you go on up and it's all glass. with Like kind of like a neon-y bannery sign with end rods with this house here. So I might make this into a restaurante, possibly. And it gives that nice traditional vibe. I like that. And here we have... The start of the residential area. So not all these houses have been claimed. This house is free. Here we have Math Girl, whose colour scheme was pink and orange to match the skin this season. So I've incorporated that in as much as I can. And I really like this house. I really like it. Not all of them have interiors yet. And they need a little bit more decorating here and there. But I love this. Coming over here, we have, from the previous video, Pixie's house. We obviously have the uh, cafe. This is Foe's house. So Foe's skin's very much red and black. So I incorporated in some of the red with some of the decor inside being a little bit darker. We have Cat the Parsum, so being an a, a, a ender parsum with the lore. 
I made this custom purple house for him. It was just so good. The colors worked so well. And then I have this cute little pink house that's up for grabs. It's not finished because I want to add in the personalization after it's redeemed. But I'm really enjoying this so much. There'll be another house here, which again is unclaimed and ready to go. But I'm enjoying this. Oh my gosh, this city is literally coming alive. And it feels so good to be walking around it, meandering through the streets. It needs a lot more clutter. If you have any ideas of great things to pop in these kind of side streets to help clutter it up a little bit and just make it feel a bit more lived in and alive. I would love to hear some suggestions. I was thinking of occasionally putting in some stairs to kind of create like holes in the ground and maybe some basalt because it kind of has like circles on it to look like manhole covers. So that could be a fun thing to do as well. Thank you so much for hanging on out today. And I cannot wait to carry on expanding this city with you all and maybe even starting some spooky builds over in the seasonal district. But with that, it is time to say goodbye for today. So with that, goodbye everyone!